This is Keith Fraser for Seconds Out. I'm actually here with the saint. No, it's not uh, Roger Moore. Uh, he's dead. I'm actually talking about George Groves, who's fighting on Saturday night in the World Boxing Super Series. George, great to see you. Yeah, great to see you too. Now, George, you're the favourite for this tournament. And it's kind of the first tournament of its kind, I'm sure, that you've been in. How does it feel being the favourite of the tournament? Because it means, in a way, like a kind of tennis tournament, you've got to have one eye all the way to the he to, to the end, to the final and winning it. How does that change your mindset going into this fight, which is also dangerous? Um, you know, I, I, I like being the number one seed and being the favourite. That's what I feel I should be. Um, it gave me a preferential um, draw in that I got to select um, first out of the opponents. And uh, I know I've made the right choice. So, uh, you know, I, maybe people are looking, looking at me... Um, as uh, the guy to beat, but um, it's one fight at a time, of course. So uh, it's a bit, it's, it's slightly different from uh, tennis and football, where you know uh, teams or players could raise their game just to play you. I'm sure everyone's gonna, you always raise your game in boxing. There's, there's no other way about it. So um, um, I've got plenty of time to be um, on form in, in, in the best shape. That's where I am now, and uh, yeah, looking forward to Saturday night. But it, it, it must be difficult because everyone's talking about potentially you and Chris Eubank Jr. in the semi-finals. You can't look further than Saturday night. That's a, big, that's a big ask, of course, on Saturday night. But everyone's sort of getting excited about the prospect of seeing you and, and Eubank Jr. Doesn't, are you telling people, hey, woke back, I've got a big, a big fight on Saturday night? Uh, everyone can get excited about it. That's fine. It's got, but it's got nothing to do with me. Um, I, I've got enough experience now. I've been in enough situations that I know what to do and how to deal with um, that sort of pressure. And, uh, and I'm dealing with it well. You know, I'm never going to look past any fight. Certainly not going to look past Jamie Cox. So um, we are in uh, fantastic shape. We've been highly motivated for this fight. Um, because of everything that's at stake, you know, you don't want to go out first round. You don't want to, I don't want anyone else to win the tournament. I want to win it. So that means I've got to stay on it, stay fit, stay healthy. Um, but uh, yeah, we just we we are solely focused on um, on Saturday night. It's just another fight. It's the first defense. It's, it's in my hometown. It's against a hand-picked opponent as such, which is all stuff that could be pressure, but nothing compared to the pressure that I've faced before. Um, so we're, yeah, when we're smiling, we're winning. We're in good form. Look, this is the World Boxing Super Series. We've got. You know, there's so many different belts out there. You've got Chris Eubank Jr. who's calling himself the world super middleweight champion. He holds an IBO version. You've got the WBO, WBA super version. This has got to be the future of boxing, really, hasn't it? Because everyone's in the mix, and it's the best of the best. All right, you may not have James DeGale in the mix here, but in general, this is what people want to see. They want to see the best fight the best. Yeah, I think so. And... Um you know, even if fighters that sign into this, they might not be big names, but by near the end, maybe maybe they will have excelled. Thus far, um, it's been all the seeded fighters who have gone through. So all the the more marquee names, um, I don't think that's going to change this uh, this weekend. I know I'm going to win and go through, but you look at the cruiserweights; they have the four the four big belts, the four the four champions of those belts. They're in it. They're all through so far uh, to the semi-finals so you know there's two WBA belts at my, my weight at the moment there's two WBC belts there's an IBO belt an IBF belt a, w a WBO belt there's, there's plenty of world champions out there but um, this is what's going to make for great fights and the sport is evolving now um, the boxing fan knows a little bit more than it did 10 years ago and that's down to um, just being able to get online and see the rankings, see the social media, see all those things. So they're more excited about the fights. And um, this is going to create big fights, good fights, uh, exciting fights. So, um, yeah, this is certainly something to be part of. This is what this is, I think all the boxing fans are going to gravitate towards. And I have to ask about a little bit going forward. If, as I'm sure you will say, you will win on Saturday night, it will be Chris Eubank Jr. next. He fought well on Saturday night. How do you see? I mean, you know, Jamie Cox was traditionally a light middleweight. You got Chris Eubank Jr., a middleweight. Maybe in the final, you'll you'll fight a true super middleweight, eh? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. I, uh, yeah, as I say, just just uh, one fight at a time right now for that in, in that in that respect. But um, yeah, maybe, maybe there's, there's, there's a mixed bag in this in this group. I think they uh, everyone wants to be part of it. They're willing to strip weight, put on weight, whatever needed to be done. So. Um, 
yeah, it's, it, it makes me so exciting. It, it makes for a different style of fighting, different um, different outcomes. But uh, I think I'm the I'm I'm the truest super middleweight in there. You know, uh, I make the weight uh, comfortably. I'm very big for the weight. I'm not drained. Strong. I've got a lot of experience fighting at a high level at super middleweight. Um, I think I think I think in that in that regard, it's in my favour. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I'm sure all the boxing fans out there are looking forward to it. This is a super series. And George, thanks for speaking to us. And we wish you the best of luck for Saturday night. Thank you.